And now, views and interviews from the world of technology. Coming up, Sky News Tech Talk with Krista Holliman. I'm Joe Cothrell, I'm Chief Community Officer at Lithium Technologies. Uh, Lithium provides platforms that companies use to create communities with their customers. Um, I'm sort of the best practices guy uh, at Lithium. You know, one of the things that's different about Lithium is that no one buys our software and installs our software without our advice and consultation about how to make it work. We're a SaaS company, software as a service company, so if our customers aren't successful, we're not successful. And so as part of providing the platform, we're also providing lots of great advice based on 10 years worth of experience with uh, almost 300 companies. The conventional wisdom used to be, oh, you can only have a community if you're a particular type of product, right? I've got to have enthusiastic fans, so I have to be a TV show or I have to be a game or I have to be something else where people are passionate. But I think what companies miss sometimes is that um, people are passionate about a lot of things. Right, uh, you know, we have uh, companies uh, who run, you know, communities for their customers around you know, the most obscure technical topics, financial topics, and what we find is that there are passionate people in all of those communities who say, you know, what my passion is helping other consumers make good credit decisions, and maybe I've had credit problems in the past, and I got out of them, and I learned a lot, and my goal in life is to help people be able to buy that home that they want to buy. What would you say would be the top advice if you wanted to launch a community or start engaging with your audience or customers online? Well, you know, sort of the conventional wisdom is that it's 20% uh, technology and 80% process, you know? So, you know, there are a lot of decisions you make as a company that will make your community successful that have nothing to do with your technology. But I think it's important to understand that the technology gives you advantages or disadvantages in making that happen. So what you're actually able to do with customers is, is uh, bounded in some ways by how robust your technology is. So I think it's important to make a good technology choice, not because it will determine your success, but because it equips you to do the kinds of things that you want to do in the future with customers. Now what we find is that if you do a good job of promotion, if you do a good job of creating awareness among your customers that this opportunity exists, they find you. You know, we, we often hear from customers, well, do I need to recruit them before I launch my community? And we say, well, no, it's actually what they do. They figure it out, right? That's, that's why they're passionate. So looking back the last 10 years, do you have a a profile of a typical super user? Yeah, I mean, that's an interesting question because uh, I don't think there's any such thing as a typical super user. It's a little bit like uh, years ago, you might remember people talking about the typical internet user, right? Oh, they're technology savvy, they're young, they're forward looking, and what we found is the typical internet user is you and me, right? There is no such thing. It's, uh, it really is. Um, something that doesn't select out a particular kind of person, uh, it could be any of us. So if you as a business think that this might be the right thing, how do you predict your ROI ahead of upfront investment? Well, I think it's one of the great things about Lithium is, uh, two things, we've been doing it for 10 years and because we're a SaaS provider, we have 10 years worth of data. So we can begin to take metrics from our customer, you know, uh, website visits or, you know, monthly page views, etc. And we can put together a pretty good predictive model of what week one, month one, you know, year one looks like. Now, I always say no one can tell the future, <laughs> you know, but we can make really good guesses within a range of how many people are going to join, you know, based on, you know, what you tell us about how you reach people besides your customer base, etc. And when somebody do that, we use the data. We mine the data. And we're not, we're not guessing. We're looking at data and we're saying companies like yours with this size of target audience have gone here. Sky News Tech Talk in association with First Tuesday, the UK's largest network for high growth technology companies and their investors. For free membership, visit firsttuesday.org.uk.